I'm in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and what I want to do is I want to purchase a license and apply it to a user. I can go to the Show All option, and it gives me all the different options. And one of those options I need is going to be the Marketplace. At the bottom, it also shows some really handy admin centers that you can go into after you assign your licenses, such as Exchange, SharePoint, Teams, and others. I'm going to go up to the Marketplace, and there's multiple different licenses I can purchase. I can just click on All Products. And in order to set up the Microsoft 365 installation, I need to have the proper license. So let's take a look at the E3 license. It has all the different features I need at a good price. There's my Office 365 E3 option. There's also a developer option for those who are developers. And since I have a Microsoft Certified Trainer certification, they give me a certain amount of these developer licenses I can use for training such as this. Take a look at the Enterprise Mobility Plus Security 3. That allows you to have the E3 license as well as Enterprise Mobility and Security, which is typically a separate license, but it's combined here together, which allows for a lower price. And there's additional options here below. I'm going to scroll back up and choose details on the E3 license. And once again, it gives you a comparison, a comparison between different licenses. Every license you choose will show something similar to this. Look at all the different Office apps that are included. And I'm going to choose to apply this to a user and then be able to log in as that user and install Microsoft 365 Office. I'm going to click on the Manage option, and here I can choose to buy licenses. So I'll click on Buy Licenses, choose however many I'd like, and then these licenses will show up as an option to install when I go to that user that I want to add the license to. So I'm going to click the X, but you can go ahead and purchase the licenses. Click on Users, and click on Active Users. Now I just need to choose which user I'm going to assign the license to. I'll go ahead and choose Matthew. And then I'm going to go to Licenses and Apps. And that license that you just purchased will now show up as an option to select. And then it's going to apply it when you click Save Changes. Now, when you go to where it says mail, it takes roughly 20 to 30 minutes, but you're eventually going to see all the different email types of services that are included with this license. You can also go to account to see the name that you're going to use to log in as that user in order to install the Office 365 licenses. Microsoft used to call the Admin Center the Office 365 Admin Center many years ago. However, they changed it to be the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. However, we're still using Office 365 to install on the user's computers. And there can be some confusion with that. And you can also purchase Office 2024, 2021, and other versions of Office, where there's a larger upfront fee, but no monthly fees after that. I'm going to close, and now I can log in as Matthew. And once I log in as Matthew, I'm going to have the option to install my Office products. I've logged out of admin.microsoft.com as the administrator, and I'm going to log in as Matthew. So instead of going to admin.microsoft.com, all we need to do is to go to office.com, which is going to be the admin center for the user. Once we get to office.com, you can click on sign in and then enter your username and password for that user. And then we'll be able to install Office. I'm now logged in as the user Matthew. I'm going to click on apps. Now, if we take a look, there's many different apps based on the license that I applied. So we can go ahead and choose to run a lot of these apps right in the web browser, such as Microsoft Word. I click on Word and you get a web version of Microsoft Word. I'll go ahead and click on Create a Blank Document. And you can use this from any different type of device, such as a phone, tablet, or computer. However, if I want to install this on the computer itself, I need to go into the upper right-hand corner and click on Install Apps. 
So I'll choose Microsoft 365 apps. You can also see there's other options as well. And once again, based on the license that was applied, I can choose to install Office. It's then downloaded the Office setup.exe, so I still need to connect to the internet to get all of the files. But this is going to be the executable program that will download everything I need onto my computer so I can run it offline anytime I need. Now you can see that Microsoft 365 and Office downloads are downloading and they'll be installing soon. And you can watch the progress in the progress bar that you see here. The installation has finished. So now when I go to my start button and go to all apps, I should be able to see all the different Office applications that have been installed. And you'll also see the new Word, which is right underneath the name of the application. And that'll stay as new until you actually click it for the first time or restart your computer. If I scroll down, I can see some additional options. If I would like to use Outlook, you have a couple of options. Outlook Classic as well as Outlook New. So Outlook Classic is going to be the version right up until 2024, which is when the Outlook New came out. And you'll have the option to use either one based on whichever type of Outlook you'd like. Some people really like the new Outlook and some people do not. I'm going to choose Microsoft Word. And throughout this course, I'll be demonstrating all these different applications so you'll have an idea of what each of them does. Here you can see, hello, Matthew, welcome to Word, which is the name of the user I logged in as. I'll click Continue. And now in order to activate Office, it just wants to confirm the email address and password one more time. It's a good idea to automatically sign into all desktop apps and websites on this device using your username and password that we just used to activate Office. Otherwise, it's possible when you go to open up a different Office product, such as Excel, it might say that it's not licensed. And I'm going to accept the license, and I'm ready to go ahead and start using Microsoft Word. Now, if I go to File and choose Account, it shows that I'm using Microsoft 365 apps for the enterprise as well as my username. If you've purchased a version of Microsoft Office instead of using the Microsoft 365 version, then you'll see that version here as well. Allowing a user or administrator to install Microsoft 365 Office products allows for flexibility to download and install Office when needed.